think that as a white person, I don't want to say that I should be allowed anywhere. As a white person, I don't want to say that I should be allowed anywhere. And I think it should be up to those um, organizations to decide. I'm sure that by now, everybody has seen this video from the University of Virginia showing a student in a multicultural center standing up and asking the white people to leave because it's making the so-called POCs uncomfortable. Basically, she's just a racist who hates white people, but feels perfectly comfortable expressing that racism in public. Why is that, you may ask? The answer is that universities and school are teaching racism to so-called people of color while they're teaching the white students that they actually deserve it. This is a phenomenon that I first started noticing when I was graduating high school and moving on to college. Being a history buff, I can see all the nuances, yet those nuances were never being discussed in the classroom in regards to topics like slavery. For example, African slavery went on for a lot longer and in much larger numbers in South America and the Middle East. And it's still going on in the Middle East. You can literally find videos of slave trades going on just a few years ago. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to downplay or excuse America's role in the evil of slavery. But the fact that it's being used as a justification for hate against whites today is just absurd. It was white people that ended slavery in Europe and America while black and brown people were still practicing it. I also noticed that when racism was being discussed in the media or academia, it was only ever addressed as a white issue. It was obvious to me back then that not only were minorities being taught to hate and resent white people, but also to believe that it's impossible to be racist to white people. Giving a justification and pass for as much hate as you want to throw at them. Really quick, just a reminder that this channel only exists thanks to my Patreon and Subscribe Star subscribers, as well as those of you who donate to me on PayPal. If you agree with my message and you want to support our mission, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or just sending a donation on PayPal. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thank you. So the media and academia are creating people who not only hate themselves, but willingly accept second class status. You can see the end results of this indoctrination in an eye-opening video just put out by the Young Americans Foundation. Okay, so you guys saw the viral video. What are your thoughts on it? Um. It was interesting because uh, you could kind of take it two ways. I understand as like a person of color, like why that space is there in the first place. Pretty much fine, like if that space is for them. I think it's kind of agree like that uh, as like a white person, I guess, just we have more areas where you can feel comfortable. And if they don't feel comfortable in those other areas, that it's nice for them to have a space where they do feel comfortable. Be mindful that it is a space where students of color go to be comfortable and to feel safe and supported. Um, and when there's white students that are in there doing something that could be perceived as disrespectful, I mean, you have to understand that that could be hurtful. You heard that right. This white student feels that it's okay to discriminate against whites and to dictate where they can and can't go based on nothing but their skin color. Plus, these students seem more than willing to let racists who hate them make these decisions. What in the hell are these idiots saying exactly? That it's normal for people of color to feel uncomfortable around whites? How about the other way around? What if white students wanted a special space so that they didn't have to feel uncomfortable around black and brown people? Of course, rightfully, this idea would be shouted down by these same ignorant fools. People need to be aware of the fact that it's not a space for them and make sure that like when they're entering their space or that space, they're not like taking up the space for other like people of color that want to use it. This is a multicultural space and it doesn't look multicultural, then the multicultural people at UVA feel less comfortable here. I can't think of any space that's set up just for white people. There haven't been white only spaces for almost a hundred years. Black and brown people can be anywhere that a white person is. Do any of these people realize that what they're describing is racial segregation? What exactly do they think multicultural means? I think that UVA's statement was ridiculous and that it's a multicultural student space and that um, white people need to be aware of the spaces that they occupy on grounds and that we need to all be aware of the kind of I don't know, the way that we occupy spaces around everything and I think that she had a good point and she wasn't aggressive. She was very clear and concise with what she said and she had a good point. It's very hard for people to have a space where they feel like safe and the MSC is a place where we feel safe. Wow, literally just white people existing in a space is threatening to people of color. Again, multicultural inherently means people of all cultures. 
That includes whites. Why do all these people think multicultural means no whites? What's even more mind blowing is the non response from the president of UVA. He only begrudgingly made a Twitter post about it, saying he received a lot of traffic about the incident at the MSC. To be clear, the MSC is for all students, but there is more to say than can be communicated in a short statement on social media. And I'm working on an essay for the Cavalry Daily, so those interested, stay tuned. He pretty much said the exact same thing in his essay. Why couldn't he just condemn racism in that Twitter post? That's all I have for you today. Make sure you head over to the Young Americans Foundation YouTube channel to check out the rest of this video and to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.